What's up guys, John from Leanspool here. And in this tutorial, we are gonna be talking about how to install applications onto your T-Style radio that are not found or will not allow you to pull them out of the Google Play Store. Specifically, we will look at Disney Plus, guys. I know that's been a unicorn, a lot of people asking for it. And at the moment of shooting this video, here's how you can do Disney Plus. I don't know how long it'll last, but this is how you can do it right now, in the moment, just before the new year. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, we're gonna talk about how to put applications on your T-Style radio that are not in the Google Play Store. Let's get at it. All right, guys, so like I said, the thing about the Google Play Store is the Google Play Store has got all of its security in there uh, to protect itself and uh, the uh, companies that it has business with. So uh, just to kind of give you a quick explanation on streaming apps and why it's been kind of difficult for us to use them. Uh, it is because as the new streaming apps come out, the new updates come out, they have new security features. Those security features are designed to make sure that you aren't copyright infringing. Uh, so when a tablet is rooted, meaning it's allowed to do things it's not supposed to do, which is what we've had to do with our tablets in order for us to work within all of the CAN bus and the AC controls and everything inside the car, uh, Google Play can now sense this. And that's why when you search for certain streaming apps, it says it's not available for your system. As well, like if you were to even update the uh, Netflix app that uh, comes preloaded on your radio, you'll notice it quits working. That's because it installs a new security feature, which can tell that the tablet is rooted. So there is ways around this, and we're gonna talk about those ways in this video. Uh, so we're gonna use a program called APK Pure. Uh, APK Pure is just like the Google Play Store, only it's not attached to Google and it's a little bit more freelance and you're able to get older versions of apps. So uh, a lot of times the fix for the security features on streaming is finding an older version of the app that didn't have that security feature. With Google or with the Google Play Store, you can't do that. Uh, with APK Cure, you can. You can find backdated and older versions and you can find a version that doesn't have that security feature. Uh, the downside with the, uh, Disney Plus is Disney Plus wasn't an app until this feature was already standard. And that's why you are we are having such a hard time getting a Disney Plus app to work. But just recently, the one I installed out of APK Pure has worked. So I figured I'd make a video so you guys knew what APK Pure was and to help those people who wanted Disney Plus put on their radios. This is the video. Here we go. So step one and two are simple and basic. That is get your radio connected to Wi-Fi. And then once you have your connect radio connected to Wi-Fi, we are going to open up uh, Google Chrome because we got to get on the Internet so that we can get to APK Pure. Now, APK Pure is a website. You can pull all of these apps off the website. You can even pull them off your computer website and put the APK files on the thumb drive and then take those thumb drives out to the radio and install them that way. Seems a little bit more work, especially when APK Pure has an app. So that's what I wanna show you first. I wanna show you how to install the APK Pure app. We'll open up that app. I have actually already downloaded Disney Plus and I've already saw it signed in. So you guys don't try stealing my account because you know that's, I'm just kidding, y'all wouldn't steal my account. I trust you guys, I trust you. But either way, it's faster this way. So got your radio connected to Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome. We're going to open up Chrome, hit our search bar there. We are going to be typing in APK Pure. You can see it up on top because I've already searched it. And we're going to open up that app. Uh, quick note on APK Pure. So this is not Google. It's not regulated like Google. Uh, so there are a ton of ads in here. So you just want to be very careful when you are downloading an app out of here. Uh, a lot of times you may think you're hitting the button download, but it's actually to download one of the um, ads. Uh, so just be careful, pay attention, read before you hit install. But you can see right here on the home page of the web browser, it says right there, use APK Pure app. And what this will do, we're going to install that and then it's going to throw the APK Pure app into our app list, just like the Google Play Store. And it's just going to be a whole lot easier for you guys to use. Uh, so you're going to want to hit that. You're going to hit download and it's going to kick us to a second page. And here's where I just mentioned um, about the ad. See, we're going to close this ad because it's in our way. And we are going to scroll down past all this information because that right there where it says uh, install is actually not install for APK Pure. It's actually install for Verbo Vacation Rentals. So like I said, they, 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 you, gotta, you gotta pay attention here. We're gonna scroll down to where the green bar is. That's actually talking about the app you're looking at. And we're gonna download uh, the app and then it's gonna go ahead and download. 
Uh, it's going to say it might be harmful. It's just standard security. We're going to say download anyway. Now, if this is the first time you've downloaded anything off of Google Chrome, you may have to allow it. So it might pop up and say allow permissions for Google Chrome to download or install um, and you'll hit yes. It's going to send you into like the Android settings. Hit yes. Um, if it doesn't flip back to this page, just hit the back arrow up there one time and it'll come back a page. But what it's going to do is it's going to pull down this APK file and it's going to throw it into our download folders. And so then we're going to go ahead and open up our file manager and then oh, let me back out one for you. Here's the uh, home page of the file manager, pretty much all the menu. If you had USBs plugged in, they would be down there on the side under where it says flash. Flash is the internal memory. Uh, so we're going to look for the download folders. Uh, we're going to open the download folder and you actually see I've installed this three times because I've actually tried to shoot this video three times and my Wi-Fi died. So actually I have the app on here three times, but it doesn't matter. We're just going to go ahead and install one. So we're going to go ahead and hit APK pure APK. And here's the, like I said, it's going to ask you, is it okay for Chrome to install this? You're going to hit yes, kick back one page. And now it's up here for APK pure. If you want to install, hit install. It's going to go ahead and install it. And then what it's going to do is it's going to throw that app into our app list where we'll be able to access it at any point just like the google play store so it says app is installed we're just going to go ahead and you know what i'll hit done so you guys can see it uh, we'll hit app list and now up there on the top left corner apk pure there's our app so we'll go ahead and open up our apk pure app and it should open up and look a whole lot like uh, the google play store um, first time you do it of course you have to allow things allow permissions there it is i don't care about their uh must-have apps because i'm not looking for must-have apps and then it's going to open up here hopefully my wi-fi you can see i've only got one bar i live kind of in a cave here when i shoot my videos uh so there you go so very similar to your google play store uh, you can just kind of see all the different apps so it's got a search bar you can search out what you want so like for me i was like hey i wonder i just wonder if maybe they have a version of disney plus that i can use now because uh, like i said it's been pretty pretty big fight for us uh, i found it i hit install went ahead and installed it and so i will show you in my app list disney plus is up there on the top right corner so we're going to go ahead and open disney plus like i said i've already signed into it now i am a child of the 90s and uh, any child of the 90s knows the greatest cartoon that ever existed in the 90s was x-men you had to make sure that you was in your house at 10 30 in the morning on a saturday or you would miss it but Disney Plus has that mess, yo. So I feel like my inner 90s child must play X-Men from Disney Plus. So we're gonna go ahead and hit X-Men. It's gonna pop open, guys. And there it is. Oh, that is good stuff. We are talking about X-Men on Disney Plus. Disney Plus working on our T-Style. And like I said, we have chased this so many times on trying to get Disney Plus to work correctly and uh, finally figured it out. And it's really not a whole lot. It's been a lot harder previous to this one. But APK Pure, guys, this is going to be an alternative to the Google Play Store. So if you go into the Google Play Store and there's an app that you can't find or you have a streaming app that's locking out on you, like it's saying, hey, you can't play this because of the securities, uh, you can go into APK Pure and start d trying some older versions until you find that one that will let you play and then just don't update it. But that is how you can sideload, I guess you could call it, or just use a different uh, app mirroring uh, program to install apps on your T-Style radio, in that including Disney+. Plus. Hope that's helpful. Hope you guys are as excited as I am about Disney+. Plus. And I uh, hope you guys have a good new year. We are two days away from, you know, the whole celebration and stuff. And uh, so this will probably be my last video till 2023. So I say peace out, y'all.